YouTube family, it's happened. It's happened. I am now in Battlefield 6 preparation mode. That's right. Battlefield 6 preparation mode. Warzone COD has taken a toll on me. A mental toll. I am too obsessed with trying to figure out how to do things. But Warzone is consistent and filled of sweats, cheaters, and just individuals who have spent more time on the game than I have. And partially, most part, uh, part of it is my fault because I don't like to play solos. I don't like to play solos. And I also don't like to hot drop. So there are, of course, some attributes or some things that I could do to try to better my Warzone experience and better and up my skill just to do it. But it, it's, it's rough. It's just rough right now. So I decided to take a little break in preparation for Battlefield. That's where the title of the, the video came from. That's where the inspiration of the video came from. I went and I downloaded Battlefield 5. And I will say, I might have found a new home. Now, I don't. it's early. I've literally only played three games. This game that you're seeing on your screen right now is the third game I played today. It was the best game. I said I would do a best out of three. The best game I have out of my three games is going up on YouTube. Now, this is just a regular team deathmatch mode. Partially because this is the shortest game mode in Battlefield. Um, the other modes range from 30 minutes to 55 minutes. And that would be a lot to give you gameplay out of. So I had to go to the 15 minute team deathmatch. Because at least then, you know, you take away 3 minutes of that. You get 12 like you got here. And boom, you get a video. Now, Battlefield. I used to play Battlefield back in the day. Uh, Battlefield 4. And one of the things that I did like about Battlefield was they actually, it, it's weird. They they actually simulate more of what you would think, what the mindset thinks of war better than Call of Duty. They, 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 they simulate it more with their campaigns, the sounds, the, if you use controller vibrations, the vibrations of the controller, like everything is different. The way people run, the way guns work. It, it's it's crazy. It's it's actually crazy. It's almost night and day between the two games. Now, you may see in some of these gameplays that the Call of Duty style of play has infected me. Run, uh, tactical sprint is not in this game. Slide canceling is not in this game. Now, I don't try to bunny hop, so it doesn't. You know it. It that doesn't bother me, but I do slide cancel when I'm trying to run places and get places quicker, and of course run from cover. And this game you can't do it. Another thing I like about this game is the fact that, like I seen on the TikTok video of a Battlefield player, is that it does involve a lot of teamwork. Like they they focus on team roles, and I like that. They focus on team roles, uh, spawning on your squad. Being able to be revived, it's all, it's a mixture of regular, for COD it would be like a mixture of regular Call of Duty mixed with Warzone, where you got squad revives, spawn on squad systems, you know, Ground War, Ground War and Call of Duty has basically, this, it, 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 they tried to copy this, they tried to copy how Battlefield gets down to bring some Battlefield players over, but the main difference between the two games is this, the speed, Battlefield can get a little boom. And get a little boring strictly because it's slower paced. It, it's much slower paced. It, it's, 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 it's night and day between God. It's a lot more sitting back. A lot of your teammates sit back. A lot of other teams sit back. Um, even there, and, and like this map I was playing on, it was considered a smaller map. But they have so much scenery in their maps that fit like vision is different like you know cod has the sun glare cod sun glare is different you know cod has a rose skin that makes it that makes visibility hard you know 
But this game has the scenery makes it hard. Like these bushes, these trees, they they flap in the wind. Smoke grenades in this game are toxic. You cannot see a thing through those at all. You can't even guess where enemy is if he throws a smoke and runs into it. You know. Um, but I, I, I like it. I like it. I don't know if it's like I said, because of the style of play, it's gonna be difficult to spam play this like you would shipment twenty four seven or shoot house. Just because of the faster pace, you're getting more engagements in call in Call of Duty, and Call of Duty is all is also, uh, I guess you can say, pretty predictable when it comes to where the enemy team is going to come from. You know, if you guys spawn on A side, you know they're gonna be somewhere on C side. So mentally, you already know. Okay, if I'm running down the middle towards C, they can be on both sides. If I'm running down the left side of C they can only be in front of me or to the right they can't come from the left and very rarely can they get behind me battlefield spawn system is different and it's different but it's not annoying difference yet now I don't know if that's because I'm still new and my mindset is different right now but it's not an annoying difference it's it's a how should I say it's a it's almost like okay you understand and this map doesn't show a good example but the last game i played on a play i can i don't know the names of the map yet but i played on a, a map that the main focal point was this big old church it was a big church with a church tower of course and people were of course sitting on a roof and on in in the the bell tower or the tower at the top and the good thing about Battlefield, that Call of Duty, I think they can't even implement it because it would literally, they might get sued by Battlefield if they did it. But destructible cover, when I tell you my teammates started switching to rockets and shooting the tower and completely demolished the tower, it was crazy. I had, I was sitting at a window, you know, getting my camp on. I was sitting at a window and they, it was this thing called a, a gun grenade. It was like a, a, a frag grenade gun or something. My whole window, the whole wall was just gone. When he shot that thing at me, all I had was just the bottom part of the wall because the whole window was gone, the, the upper wall was gone. Everything that I was using for cover was gone. Now it was multiple ways to get to where I was. And I like that. I like that. I like the way that happens. But campers, I mean snipers in Battlefield are snipers. You ain't got to worry about them running around quick scoping you. You ain't got to worry about them bunny hopping. You ain't got to worry about them slide canceling. You ain't got to worry about all of that. You don't have to worry about FaZe Clan in Battlefield. See what I'm saying? What you have to worry about is those snipers are the snipers that will get you while you're running. Because the visibility is different in this game. I'm not going to say it's bad. It's just different. It's different. And they and snipers can really use it to their advantage. Because the way that you lay down in this game, you can lay down on your back or on your stomach. And a sniper will lay down like on a rock. And in the third person view, he's actually like mounted on the rock like you would see in movies and things like that. And the only way you can see him is when he makes himself available to shoot you. And if you ain't got, if you don't put no suppressing fire on him, then you're finished. There was a clip in this game actually earlier in the game where a sniper was laying there and I had to throw a Molotov at him and I got him to move and then I was able to kill him. But yeah, man, it, it this game is just different. And right now I'm in the early, you know, sometimes new things just seem better because it's new. Like it's a refreshing feeling. So right now, that's what it is for me. It's a refreshing feeling. Uh, they have a revive system that some teammates use, other teammates don't. You can team kill in this game. I didn't think you could team kill because it's, you know, what Kyle would uh, deem core. I didn't think you could team kill in this game, but you can team kill. Oh, yes, you can. You can team kill. I team killed somebody, but the good thing was about the team kill, I was able to revive him. And there's no kill streaks. No kill streaks brings another element to the game because now it's just pure skill. That's why the kill counts are so low in this game because there's no kill streaks to boost the stuff. So that's where the that's where Call of Duty and Battlefield differs. Call of Duty bases it on fun. 
while Battlefield bases it off of simulation of real life. Which is cool. I like that. I like that. I like that. And COD is just... It's really down to your preference. But right now, COD is, is really irking my nerves. Like, real bad. Real, real, real bad. Uh, between Warzone... Warzone irks my nerves because every time you try to shoot somebody, they want to bunny hop and shoot you. Um, and a multiplayer... Y'all know how I feel about multiplayer. That... that People just take snipers in that mode and just run around and a one shot you from shotgun range with a sniper and get all the views and all the credit and say skill, skill, skill. Uh, but that doesn't simulate real life. So basically, Call of Duty is simulation. I mean, Call of Duty is arcade, Battlefield is simulation. I think I'm turning into a simulation guy. Think I'm turning into a battlefield guy. These first three games, I had more fun in these three games than I had in ten games of shipment. And that's bad. That's bad. If I had to sit and I had to play a game, if somebody told me to pick one game to play between COD and Battlefield, right now, I would pick Battlefield. I would pick Battlefield strictly just because I, I Call of Duty has burned me out. I'm burned out of Call of Duty. And I guess that's what happens after you have so many years of when you when you play COD for so long and what drew you to COD, what made you like COD, they kind of get away from to accept a new generation of things and new generation of gamers. That's kind of what you get. It's kind of what you get, you know, in with the old. I mean, out with the old and with the new is, is, is the, the method that they're going with. And you either adjust and adapt and survive or you just have to find something else to do and i think i'm at that that later part of finding something else to do and that may include battlefield so you may see some battlefield gameplays coming out uh more on the channel uh but until then it's chris jones is signing out